away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. beautiful and welcome back to another video by the one and the only Tisa Tierra. As you can tell by the title, girl, we we're about to get into some some tea, honey, and a possibly like a very sensitive subject for some people. And so let's really just hop right on up in this. Ain't no way to bull crap and lollygag on this. Everybody that I know, everybody that I know has been cheated on before. Everybody, okay? I don't know a single person that has never been cheated on. I have played a part in those situations, okay? So I played a part in those situations, in that particular field of interest, three times. And we're gonna talk about it today, while I do my makeup and while I get ready for work. So it is a fly in here and it is really getting on my nerves, really getting on my nerves. The kids went outside today, so they've been like in and out the door. So a fly is in the house. Um, what was I about to say? Okay. Listen, if this is a very sensitive subject for you, this might not be the video that you need to watch. Because I'm a very raw and honest person. And if this is going to make you mad, do not watch. Just don't watch, okay? Don't watch. Seriously, like just don't watch um because you know I, I get it I get it like if this is a fresh subject for you like you're going through it right now you probably gonna be like Tisa like WTF and you know you probably gonna wanna you know get your Twitter fingers to go on and we just don't have time for that so now I am not ashamed of anything that I have done in my past I'm not ashamed of anything that I do now I am one of those people who can look back at situations and laugh at them, whether I was wrong or right, whether the other person was wrong or right. I've been through a lot of things, and today I can look back at all of them and laugh. And you'll be hearing a lot of those stories also. But, yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump right on in this. So I'll be doing my makeup and to get ready to go to work. And, um, yeah. So... I was a side chick. I've been a side chick three times. The first time I was a side chick. Honestly, all of these times were all like, you know it. Anyway, so I have, I don't wanna say their names. <laughs> We're not gonna say their names publicly, okay? I don't know if they may watch this. I don't know who may see this, so we're gonna use cold names. So we're gonna use, we, we're gonna talk about my situations and dealings with a guy named T. We're going to talk about my dealings with a guy named Rodriguez. And we're going to talk about let me see Rodriguez T and I was high shit four times white boy so got named white boy I can say white boy because that was a nickname so white boy Woo! don't come for me y'all <clears throat> don't come for me <laughs> do not come for me don't do it alright <laughs> cause I'm just gonna delete you Delete, delete, delete. All right. Okay, so let's start off with Rodriguez. All right. 
So we're gonna talk about Rodriguez because that was the first time that I played I played the side chick role. It's my first time ever. This was I had broke up with my kid's dad. Okay. Um I was younger. I hadn't I hadn't even had any kids at the time. So <laughs> How do I say this without saying too much? Okay, all right. We're gonna talk about one of my sisters. Sorry, sis, if you see this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. So, I had moved out of my baby daddy's, my baby daddy's house, right? My, dad, my baby daddy's people, no? Yes, my baby daddy. Me and my baby daddy had got into it. Okay, my baby daddy was a cheater. He was a cheater. That's probably where I got it from. I mean, not cheating, but you know, <clears throat> hurt people, hurt people. But I wasn't trying to hurt people. I was just doing me and not caring if other people got hurt along the way, basically. To be honest, so me and my baby daddy had got into it. This fly is on, bro. I don't want to hit my head and break a nail because I'm going to be mad. Um, and my sister was dating this guy. And the guy had a brother. <laughs> I'm going to call him Rodriguez. And so it got to the point where I was dating Rodriguez and my sister was dating Rodriguez's brother. And you know, at first it was just like you know, you just be vibing. It was like a vibe. And me and my sister, me and oh, that is bigger now. <sighs> Bro, I can't function. So, me and Rodriguez just used to vibe, you know. And then it turned into a vibe to, <clears throat> you know, us realizing like, dang, I really, really like you. Like, you cool. And so it went from that to, like, us messing around. And, like, we used to mess with each other hard like we used to mess with each other hard we really really did and <clears throat> and um oh, i thought that was something else and he had a girlfriend they had been together for some time i don't even remember how long you know they had been together or whatever i don't even know if i asked and Rodriguez used to be at my house so much that it was like you could barely tell that he had a girl because it was like, how you, how are you, um, so, how you had a girl but you always over here? Like, you always over here, you, out, you be over here cleaning up, you be over here um cooking washing clothes you know what i'm saying helping out why like, you just be over here all the time so how that work um and i can honestly say that me dealing with what i dealt with with my baby daddy played a big part in it because I was at a point where I just wanted to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really trying to take nobody serious. I'm just having fun. Like, your business is your business. You deal with it. You grown. You make your own decisions. Yeah, yeah, I could have, you know what I'm saying? Saying, no, oh, you got a girl. I'm not gonna deal with you, whatever. But that ain't what I did. 
and I was okay with that because I did have fun. I really, really did. And y'all don't be trusting people who, who you don't know because on some real, his girl used to call my phone and be like, Tisu, you seen Rodriguez? And I'd be like, no, nah, I ain't seen him. Um, if he come over here to see his brother or something like that, you know, I I let him know that you um looking for him. She's be like, all right, thank you. He used to be in my living room. You know, so let me tell you something, girl. If you got an instinct, go for it because it's probably right. She never had an instinct, though. I will say that. Like, it never crossed her mind that there was, could, it, maybe. You know, with something going on because I knew my role. You know, um, and I played my role very well. So she never knew anything, but that's so hard. I don't know if they stay together to this day. Who knows? I don't even talk to him. I haven't talked to him in years, so. I don't know what's up with them or they. I actually, I don't think they together. I don't. He was with a new girl the last time I talked to him. And then I'm like, I don't even know why I wanted this man. Like, well, no, 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 no. I know why. I know why I wanted him back then. But like today, or not today, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like present me is like, girl, what? what? What was you doing? I was doing something back then though. You know, everything was nice. He was a very handsome guy. He was like a brown skinned guy. He was probably like my complexion. I can turn y'all around him. He was like my complexion. Maybe a tint. See, but he was redder. Like I have more of a brown tone. He had more of a red tone. And he had hazel eyes. He was very handsome. He was a little short, little thing. Compared to the type of guy I date now, like in my mind, he was short. He was probably like five eight, five seven, something like that. Um, very nice guy. Very very nice guy. I don't even know what I'm doing now with my face. But yes, that was me and him. We had a thing that lasted. How long did that last? Um, it lasted a few seasons. It definitely lasted a few seasons. I ain't gonna say a few years, but definitely lasted a few, a few seasons. So. But I didn't in mind because like, and I'm you y'all know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be all the way funky with y'all or whatever. Um, dang, what I was finna say? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I I was okay with it because I was like I don't have to deal with the real issues. You know what I'm saying? Arguing and all that. Like we don't argue. Oh, we argue for, we have a good time. We have a very, very good time. We don't argue. You know, we might have like a little disagreement or something like that, but it's not like a relationship argument, you know? Or disagreement. You know, we will have our little moments where it be like, you get on my nerve, you know? But nothing too deep. And at that point in my life, I was okay with that. I was okay with it. I really, really was. I wasn't looking for nothing more. You know, no nothing. I wasn't trying to fall in love. Shit, I had just fallen out of damn love, you know? I ain't trying to fall in love. I was just trying to do me. So, that was Rodriguez, honey. And then, who we gonna talk about? We'll talk about White Boy. We'll talk about White Boy. Y'all remember White Boy? White Boy was the guy 
fool messed around with my homegirl at the time. Y'all remember I told y'all about him? Him. Him. I was his side chick too. So, I had moved to the west side. Okay? I'm from Atlanta. For those of you who do not know, this is your first time watching me. I'm from Atlanta. And I had just moved to the west side. Y'all, the west side was crazy. <laughs> Baby, the west side was crazy. But I had just moved to the west side or whatever. And once again, girl, I had, well, first of all, I had went back to my baby daddy. Stupid. I had went back to my baby daddy. And then, and by this point, we had kids. By this point, we had all three of our, three of our daughters together. So, I'm with this Negro. And um everything went left with me and my baby dad. So I moved to the west side and um shit, the west side was lit. The west side was lit. That was the first time I had like had like a home club, you know, like yeah. Life was life was fun. Life was definitely fun to say the least. So staying on the west side, I meet this guy. How did I meet him? I can almost guarantee you I met him through my homegirl. She was like one of my best friends at the time, a girl named Kitty. So Probably met her through him. And it was weird. Like, me liking white boy was weird because I don't have a thing for light skinned men. I do not have a thing for light skinned men. Light skin, I mean, white boy was red. That boy was red as ever. Like, he was red. And, um, honey, white boy had a car. White boy also had a little moped. <laughs> He had a little, little moped or whatever that he used to drive around. Um, but he did, he did have a car. He did have a car. He just used to like riding. He used to like riding his bike. This fucking fly so rude. But um, he had, oh, Lord, he had a girl who was his baby mom. White boy had a kid. Now, one thing that I can say about white boy he never brought his baby around me he never brought his baby around me and if he did it might have been once maybe but like he did not have his child around me he did not and um i was cool with it because i was like you know whatever like i said i was i was rocking high up you know what i'm saying like that's cool or whatever but white boy was really cool. And by by this time, Leah was Leah was younger. Leah was still in diapers or whatever. And um, white boy used to always come through. Always come through with you know whatever, whatever I, whatever he would he would, yeah. White boy always came through. Diapers, wipes. I need this. I need that. Oh, can you get this? And one thing that I can say when I dealt with when I dealt with white boy. I was like, yeah, we can kick it. Yeah, you got a girl. But at that point, I was really on, like, my hustler stuff. So, it was like, if people was coming to see me, you want to come over here and kick it? For what? What you bringing over here? What you got? You got some money? You got some stuff for my kids? What you, you bringing something to eat for us? You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. That's not me today. Not like that. You know what I'm saying? But me back then, I was, I was younger. I was in my 20s. And that was my mindset. Like, if you talking about you trying to come over here and you trying to kick it with everybody or whatever, what you bringing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you not coming empty handy. And uh, more times than not, you know, it was always, like, my kids. Like, you bring some doctors over here. Oh, you trying to come over here? Okay, that's cool. Stop and get my kids on eat. And, yeah, I was, I was able and capable to do everything that I needed to do for my kids, for myself. But it was just, it was just a principle. It was definitely just the principle. So, me and White Boy was really, really cool. Um, I remember when White Boy had got locked up, 
And the whole time he was locked up, he was contacting me. He was contacting me every day. Every day that boy was contacting me. Either he was contacting me or his mama was contacting me. But yeah, either um, he was contacting me or his mama was contacting me. And with this situation, yes, I had met his mama. With both situations, actually. Yeah, with both situations, actually, I had met their mama. So let me let y'all know something. Folks, mama's for everybody. <laughs> you hear me? Folks, mama is for everybody. I don't care how you feel about it. You can have a best relationship with somebody, mama. These mamas for their sons. Period. Folks rocking with their kids. I don't care how much you think they like you. They rocking with their kids. Yeah, they might tell their sons, you know you don't need to be doing this and da 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 But get what? Mamas them keep secrets too, baby. These folks is for their children. Make no mistake about it. And that's why I'm the type of person. I don't care. Like, I mean, yeah, I want to be cool and cordial with your people. But I ain't the type to just fall in love <laughs> with your folks. Like, yeah, no, not me. Not me. No, buddy. I, I, I will hug your mama. I will speak to your mom. I will have conversations with your mom. I will do all that. But I'm not going to play mom's best friend. Sure not. Nope. I do not get attached to folks' moms. I, I, I may like your mama. And I love your mama as your mama. You know. And da 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 da. But I, I, I learned through my baby daddy. Family's baby. Families ride for their family. I don't care about your best friend. I don't trust your best friend. I don't trust your family. I don't trust none of them. Your cousin y'all way be with. Nah, baby. I'm that kind. So. But, um. And I remember when he got out of jail, he came right to my house. Right to my house. Like, he had let me know that he was out. Or whatever. But yeah. That was me and white boy. I mean, and white boy came to an end because I told y'all he uh he slept with Dream. So when he slept with Dream, that was it. It wasn't on Cyrus. It wasn't none of it. I was done. I'm done with you. If you mess with my friend. You know what I'm saying? Regard I don't care what we got going on. If you mess with my any of one of my friends. If we no longer have nothing going on, at all, nothing. Don't even smile at me too hard. I'm going to tell, tell. I'm going to tell. I'm telling. But yeah, don't even, don't even smile at me if you got any interest in my friends. So, when he slept with well, and then he lied about it. If I was to see him to this day, he'll probably still lie. And I ain't seen him in years. But he never wanted to admit that he slept with well. And I stopped talking to her after that situation happened too. I ain't had nothing to say to her. We ain't got nothing to talk about. So. I need to get me a light so when I'm in here, like I have like a brighter light. And you know what? I actually do have it, but I'm so close to almost being finished. There's really no point in me putting it up, is it? I ain't never ran from a nigga in a damn show. Ain't about to pitch the day to start running. My flow is so ice cold. Walking to the Gucci store. Honey, I'm home. I need a pamper on. Money. I think I don't know. I don't, does it fit? It look weird. I don't know. Whatever. Just, just, just let me know, and we'll never use it again if y'all don't like it. I think it's too bright. I think that's more natural. But um, where was I going with this? Then we had a guy named K. K, I met K, I met K at the, at the club that I was working at. Met K at the club, 
and um he was like really really cool like oh my god i liked this guy so much at the time where's my stuff oh there it is i really really liked this guy a lot because that's too tall because when I say he was like my type, hard, like he was tall, he was skinny. I like my men tall and skinny. I like chocolate men, like Tyrese chocolate. And that's what he was. And he had perfect, he had perfect teeth. And like, he stayed in Polo and Ralph Lauren, like, that's all he wore was Paul Lauren, you know, was Ralph Lauren. And I was just so like in love with his style, the way he dressed. Um, he was an Audi guy. That was the only car that he would buy. Me and him kicked it for years. Me and him kicked it for years. But when I first met him, he had a girl. He had a, um, he had a white girl he was dating. And, but they were on the rocks. They were on the rocks. She was like, very like, she was just opposite from him. She was like the conservative, you know, conservative type. And, and he, she, and um, they were just polar opposites, you know. I was surprised that he was dating her because I'm like, the type of person that you are with me, like, you know, how you like both of us at the same time? Because <laughs> we're so different, you know. Um, but yeah, me and him, me and him, they ended up breaking up. I do remember that. They ended up breaking up because he's, she slept with his homeboy and he found out and they had like been sleeping around like not all day slept around one time and he found out about it like he was like they had been sleeping with each other for a while he just saw like the energy between them you know changed and blah 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 um like the dynamic between the other two like, towards the girl and the guy changed like it was just a lot so, he left her alone, and then me and him really started dating. Like, he was never my, he was never my boyfriend. Like, we both had kind of agreed that, like, you know, we didn't want a relationship. Um, but it was like, we was, we was basically in a relationship, but at the same time, we was both like, I don't want a relationship. Like, you done been through what you done been through, I done been through what I done been through. And we just was like, nah. You know, this is not really what we wanted. So, we both just kind of accepted that a little bit. Girl, but he would have, okay, so we, we just, me and him, we decided to move in together. He had an apartment, he had moved out from the, uh, he left the girl, the little house, the spot they had together. And, um, that is very dark. And um, me and him decided, you know, that I was gonna move in with him. Don't worry, we were gonna really, really blend that. So it's nice. But yeah, we had decided that, you know, I would move in together or whatever. So we had, um, it was a two bedroom, two bath. It was a roommate style apartment. Um, he had his own room, I had my own room. And um, it worked for a couple of months. But he, you know, we had revisited the conversation where I was like, you sure, you know, you ain't trying to be with me. And he was like, you know, uh-uh. You know, I don't want to be with you. Yeah, we was, we was messing around though. You know what I'm saying? Like we was still messing around in the bedroom just as far as the title. You know, I was like, you know, you sure. This, that's how you want to rock. So he was like, yeah, I want a relationship. So I'm me. I'm the type of person that I am. One thing that y'all don't know about me. I'm like a guy. 
So I was like, all right, bitch. So I started dating somebody that I was already dating when I met him. Or oh, whatever. That's a nice contour. Can you guys tell? So, um, so I was dating both of them. Or oh, whatever. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not. I'm not gonna tie. I'm not the type to tie myself down to one person. And I'm not in a relationship. Like, no, I'm gonna enjoy me being single. So that's what I did. So I was dating him and another guy. And he he did not like that. He did not like that at all. Which I'm like, these things you wanna be together. So you don't get to control who I deal with outside of you. That's not what you get to do. So, and then, that's when I ended up meeting Ashley's dad. And then, I started dating Ashley's dad also. And then, me and Ashley's dad, you know, started to get more serious and everything like that. And girl, me and Ashley's dad was at it was like starship or something like that and this negro k done pulled up on us at starship girl it was like an episode of cheaters like <laughs> he came in the store girl he was like so oh so this what you're doing this what you're doing and i'm like well, while looking at the dildos like yeah, like what are you talking about? Oh, oh, but but do that nigga know you stay with me and da, 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 and see another thing. I'm so truthful that Ashley's dad knew everything. Like he knew everything. Like I told him everything. I tell all my guys everything. Nobody's gonna ever be able to tell you anything about me because I talk to my men like my men are my best friends. So, so. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, he knows exactly where I stay. He knows who you are. <laughs> he might not know he know who you are yet, but when I explain to him who you are, he's going to be like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, so I'm like, bro, you just really making yourself look stupid. Like, me and Kevin had got into it so hard, bro. He was so petty. Let me tell y'all, I had went to, I can't even do my lip shit. I had went to go wash my dance clothes or whatever and in the apartment. We didn't have a um like a um wash and dryer connection. Uh, if we did have a connection, we just didn't have a wash and dryer. I don't remember. But so you know, I took my clothes to the wash house in the apartment and washed my clothes. I meant wash my dance outfits. Now when I put my dance outfits in there, there were a match to every dance outfit. I go back to pick my clothes up and get them out the dryer. There's like one top, one bottom, another top, another bottom, pieces missing. And I'm like, bro, you petty. You are so, so petty. Like, I know nobody did this but you. He was like, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. I'm like, bro, yes you did. You had to, sir, like, who who else would've opened up a dryer and took pieces of, so, like, that's so dumb. But I, I know he did it to this day. I'm, I'm convinced he did that. But, um. That ended up being the end of me and him when I got with Ashley's dad. And the last one, okay, so I was dating this guy named T. I was crazy about T. T was like so tall. T was like 6'9". Like he was like so tall. He was like 16, maybe maybe 16, 6'9", 16. Dark skin, dope boy, oh, beautiful teeth, lot of money. You know, all of that. So, I met him at the club. And I'm sorry. I wasn't finna let that one slide. Cause, baby boy used to come in the club and girls wouldn't even ask him for a dance cause they already knew. They already knew, like, they would come to the back and be like, Dynasty, Dynasty, your money man here. Dynasty, like, <laughs> you know? 
So I wouldn't let him go. I, I didn't care. I honestly, I did not care. I was like, he ain't gonna know what's this. Cause we buy her and he got money, money. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm sorry. So, I, um, started dating him. And he had a girl, but he wanted to leave this girl. And I know this as a fact, it's not most of the stuff he was just telling me. Like I tell y'all, I have very, very good communication. So people don't have to lie to be about anything that goes on in their life because I'm a very understanding and logical person. Um, hold on. So yes, started dating him. He had a girl that he did not want to be with anymore. But she was pregnant. He had messed around and got her pregnant. He was in prison. And she was the first girl that he started dealing with when he got out of prison. Or whatever. And like two months later, she ended up pregnant. Or whatever. So. That was that, honey. He was, um... And you know he wanted to he wanted to leave, but she wasn't gonna let she wasn't gonna let him go. She wasn't gonna let him go for the same reason I wasn't gonna let him go. You feel me? Like he's 16 and he's skinny, so you know the trunk is there. It's it's there, baby. It's it's a baby lead. Okay, he handsome as hell. I like the way he dressed. Like you you know what I'm saying? Like he's a boss. You feel me? Like, this, this dude, I knew he was the boss baby. When, first of all, you wanted me at the spot. And you had somebody else come, come, come get me. One of your homies to come get me. Two times. Because the first time he told me to come here, I was like, hmm. Like, I don't really be slain for. Honestly. This, this happens to this day. Like, me and be like, come here when you get off the stage or something like that. And I just be like, whatever. You know. So the dude came and got me two times for this guy. And then not only that, like when this dude would get up to go to the bathroom, three niggas go with him. You know what I'm saying? Like if he needs something, a drink, I don't care what it is. If the waitress ain't around, he was sending somebody else to go get it. So I was like, you the boss. Like you, you the head, you the H N I C. I I see that already. I can tell by the way you move and how you snap your fingers and folks get to moving. So, for all the reasons that I wasn't letting him go, she wasn't letting him go. She be like, what you mean? You finna go well? You finna do what? I'm pregnant with your baby. You can hang that up. She used to tell him she was gonna send the police to the trap. Uh, if he kept messing with me, like, she used to threaten, um, like, situations with the unborn child about how you know you ain't gonna see your baby like she was she was that type of person and um i mean i can't fault her for being mad and i don't fault her for being mad shit. Uh, if i was you i'd be mad too i ain't gonna lie so um me and him ended up slowing down and see even with him like Valentine's Day, Christmas, my birthday, like he was showing up. He was showing up for every holiday. Like he was making sure that he was setting aside some kind of time to make sure he came and got me. And it wasn't on oh, next day on Valentine, next, the day after Valentine's Day, it was on Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Like he was making moves like that. And um, me and him ended up slowing down because he ended up getting into this really bad situation and he was shot he was shot like a lot of times I want to say it was like seven times um but I know for a fact it was it was way more than three and he ended up getting hospitalized of course and I remember 
Hold on. Hello? You left already? No. Mm -mm. Yeah. I just really gotta put my clothes on and put my earrings in. I already got my necklace on and my makeup done. Damn, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that means you slowing me down. Alright. What was up? Alright, I'm gonna see you that Oh, okay. Alright, if anything, if I find time tomorrow, we'll just swing by y'all. Alright. Okay. So, I remember a girl, a waitress, coming to tell me, because he had not been to the club in a week. He was not answering his phone. Um, like no none of that, and I knew something was wrong because if you date a dope boy, they always have their phone on them. They always have their phone on them because that's how they make their money. So when he went answering no phone calls and stuff like that, I was like he like I was fearing for the worst. I was fearing that yes, a he was dead or b he was back in prison. Um, and a waitress ended up coming to me and was like, T, you heard what going on with T? So I was like, no. But she told me that he had been shot, y'all. It messed me up. Like, I cried. And we was at the club. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. I cried my eyes out by this man. And then, eventually, I got a text message from his phone. And me and him was going back and forth, just texting, texting, texting. I was so happy to hear from him. And da 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 He was telling me what was going on in the situation. It was his woman. Why you playing on my phone and this man is in critical condition? Like, I could not understand that for the life of me. Like, I was so mad at her. Because I'm like, girl, I were boo in a hospital. And you, you doing this to me. Girl, is he okay? Sis. Cause, and then I found out because he ended up calling me back. And he was like, man, he ended up calling me or texting me or something like that one day and was like, he was like, man, I'm so sorry. That was not me that you been texting. That was her and she mad and she and her feelings and da 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 And I was just like, I were mad in the hospital. You play too much. You supposed to be worried about him. That's why I need to be there and not you because I wouldn't be worried about you. I'd be worried about our man trying to make sure he's straight. Stupid. Oh, but honey, after that, things started to die down between me and him. And then we reunited. Reunited and it feels so good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We ended up reuniting. But by then, like I'm one of those person, people, you gotta deal with me when I feel like you hot. Coming in hot. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm like, oh, oh my God, googly eyes, googly eyes. Because after my googly eyes are gone for you, like, I start treating you like any other dude. I really, really do. And, like, I don't be giving dudes no kind of time. Like, I feel like, boy, bye. And that's how I ended up treating him eventually because I was just like, this not what it used to be. This not what, this not, mm-mm. Like, no. Like, what you doing? I don't know. Things had just changed. And he was still, like, like you the one and I was just like oh you know so I don't know it was crazy but that's the story honey of me being side chick I think I told y'all about four I think that was four so have you been a shot side chick before did you know you was a side chick how do you feel about being a side chick how do you feel about side chicks now because I have a whole different outlook on the whole side chick situation because like boo I don't got time I don't got time. Like, I will be your friend. I will keep it cordial between me and you if I know that you have a girl. Like, I will keep it very cordial. Like, I'll give good relationship advice and all of that. But I won't date you. I absolutely will not date you. I just be like, that's not who I am anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was me years ago. Years ago. So, but just let me know. Don't bash me too hard, y'all, in the comments. Don't. I'm really going to laugh at a lot of y'all comments either way it go. But... 
Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching as always Because you didn't have to click this video You could have clicked the one before, you could have clicked the one after But instead you decided to come kick with me And it's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button If you are not new here, thumbs up And let me know that you liked this video And make sure you leave a comment Because I love talking to you guys Do you like the light? Did you see a big difference? How do you like it? Light on from now on or light off? And I'll see y'all in another video Mwah!